rather than failure. So this psalm is a type as we're going into Sukkot, right? The Mizmor was probably, they say, composed immediately before this exploit, which turned the scale. So those who have studied this psalm, Psalm 60, they've come to the conclusion that first the song went forward and then they battled and got victory over the enemy. But what I like to share coming forward is the is speaking of the banner. Just a little bit more on the banner, right? So if you will, let's just touch on the banner right here, this banner of salvation, right? This banner that is given, right? So let's bring this up right here and let's make this a little bit, um, okay, let's, let's do this like this. Let's make this a little bit just so it fits within, within the frame right here. Right, so we'll move this over. We'll move this up. Right, and all right, all right. It's a picture that has a thousand words. So we'll put this right here. Here we go. All right, how's that? Okay, so let's go to verse, um, uh, verse five to eleven. Right, but the first part of verse, uh, was it verse, um, Actually, verse four, where it says, thou has given a banner to them that fear thee, that reverence thee, that respect thee, that it may be displayed because of truth, right? So that banner is given to us to be displayed because of truth. Now, the footnote from the Tehillim, this particular psalm, you know, in the Jewish Mizmor, the Tehillim, the book of the Psalter, there's a footnote here that says this, and it's in the subset that's called hope of victory in Elohim's, in God's assurance. And in speaking of banner, here's what it says, a paragraphical I want to share with you. It says a banner to them that fear thee, that fear thee. Now, when we look at the word mefrad, tefari, tefari, ras, tefari, the head to be reverenced, tiferet, the 10th chakra, the ras, the crown chakra, you know, we put that all together and we see that in light of the word, we can see this clearer to be a revelation of Rastafari, a banner to them that reverence, that respect thee. Here's what it says. It says, in the darkness of the nations, humiliation, right? Because we are a redeemed beta Ethiopian Hebrew Israelite nation that in the darkness and the ignorance, in this time of great ignorance, of I and I nation of Israel's humiliation, right? The psalmist, speaking of David, Dawit, right? Negus Dawit, he perceives, right? That means the spiritual vision pierces through this, this almost triple darkness, a ray of hope by reflecting on the Kedem, reflecting on the past, right? Elohim, the true and living God, had summoned Israel and put his name upon Israel, right? Who acknowledged his sovereignty, right? We're speaking of the sovereignty of his majesty, Kedemawi Hala Salasi, to his service, right? The teaching of his majesty, the ministry of the King of Kings in Christ, and so to speak, presented them, so the sovereign, the King of Kings has presented us in his sovereignty to his service, right? To his service, and so to speak, presented I and I with the banner, right? The banner of his cause, of his cause, right? Which they were, I and I are, to hold aloft for the purpose of guiding other peoples to his truth, to his truth. That's so why when you go forward to the next verse, it says that thy beloved, thy beloved may be delivered, right? So this banner is given for a purpose. The purpose is that the beloved ones love and be loved. The beloved ones may be delivered, rescued, saved. It says save with thy right hand, right? Toshia, Toshia. Right, save with thy right hand and answer I, 
The footer here says that thy beloved may be delivered by recognizing Israel, right? Ethiopia, Israel. Are you not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? By recognizing Israel as his what standard bearers, he had displayed his love.